What do you get when you take two of the weirdest G1 toys ever and make them into modern figures? You get Top Spin and Twin Twist. The original G1 Jump Starters are interesting, and there really isn't much else to say beyond that. But the new Titans Return figures, well, I say new, they've been out for a couple years. Uh, they're, they're some of the best figures from Titans Return. They're definitely my favorite Titans Return deluxes, without a doubt, especially Twin Twist. But I'm kind of biased there because my brother and I had the original G1 Twin Twist growing up. And, uh, I mean, come on. It's a modern toy of a childhood toy. I mean, you're going to love it. Uh, I, I love all of these um, I love these for an odd reason, and I love these for very obvious reasons. Let's talk about the original vintage ones first. So as you can see, my vintage top spin has no stickers. Uh, this can just kind of give you an idea of how simple he was. Uh, he was just a torso with weird legs, arms, and a head. Uh, that was it. Um, he's He had a gun, but I didn't get the gun with him. Uh, what were jump starters? Well, um, how you transform him, it's actually very difficult. There you go. Um, yeah, he's got chrome forks for his weird jet mode, and I don't know if he's gonna work, um, but you pulled back, and you let him rip, you let him rip. Whoa! Ah! No, that, that was a little scary. Um, basically, here, let me, basically, you pull back, you let it rip. Oh my gosh. And it's supposed to, it's supposed to, in theory, flip up, but it doesn't work too well. Uh, here is Twin Twist, how you transform him, very difficult. Boom, there you go. Honestly, his drill mode is way better. And look at the stickers. The stickers really do add something. I need to get Reaper labels for him, but I figured it wouldn't really be important for this video. Not sure how well Twin Twist still works, but we will see. Ah, okay. Yeah, spoiler alert, he really doesn't anymore. Yeah, after a while, I guess the springs or something wear out and they just don't really want to work like they used to. But looking at the head sculpts on these, um, they're just very vintage robot-y. Especially Twin Twist. I love Twin Twist's head. Top Spin is also very vintage robot. <laughs> Especially with that big old visor. I love these guys. Uh, they're just weird and quirky and cute, and I love them. Basically how it works, you just rev it, and then whenever it reaches a certain point, that just unlatches the legs and it flips up. Uh, pretty simple. The Twin Twist still has the rub sign. I don't know if it works, but we'll... Oh, look, it's actually kind of working. Hey, he's an Autobot. Surprise, surprise. It's not like you couldn't tell from the other sticker. Anyways, here's the vintage toys. I already transformed them. Uh, they won't actually transform unless you do the rev up, so you can at least have the alt mode sitting there if you actually like those. So how did figures this odd get translated into modern? Let's see. Oh, that's... <laughs> he's drilling him. Ew. Rightfully, like the original toys, the modern Tides Return toys are um, pretty much the same old. Uh, you can see they're pretty similar. Uh, this time you can see that the the weird fork thing are on the back and the weird uh, treads are on the back instead of being tucked in the legs like the originals. These figures are so solid, man. Um, you have the treads on the shoulders instead of on the arms this time around. But you still have the wings just poking out of the arms of uh, Topspin, and I actually really dig that. So let's talk about Topspin a little bit, because he was the first one they came out with. Ed Sculpt's really nice, man. Definitely gives that 80s robot vibe, and I really like it. And uh, because it's Titan's Return, they're all Headmasters. So uh, I don't know the Headmaster names. I don't really care. But look, it's a little Headmaster. Woohoo, isn't that special? Wow. Didn't really need that, but hey, that they just had to make everybody Headmaster for whatever reason. Okay, yeah, there we go. There's a... Uh, there's kind of the look of Top Spin. It looks very nice. I love these vents. It's like he's got air conditioners on his knees. I dig it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I like the cockpit on the back, too. Actually, looks nice. These guys actually have cockpits. Isn't that cool? Uh, but yeah, I like the gun, too. The guns look really nice separate, but of course, because it's Titan's Return, they also like form a combined weapon that a headmaster can sit in. And, I mean, you can see it. Yeah, you can sit in it. That's odd. But look at that. Especially if you get it like this. If you have him hold it like this, it's like this quad-barreled mega death gun. And I'm actually really down for that. I really like it, and I love the silver paint, too. It's just great. Um, top spins are, uh, they are white in plastic molding, and twin twists are blue. But they're the same gun. Uh, so you can have, like, double quad guns if you really are so inclined. 
still, these guns are just really cool. Pew, 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 pew. Very rare instance where I like a dual wielding transformer, but I really like these guys. So it has articulation on this mold. Let's show it off in Twin Twist so we can get a better look at him. Look at that head sculpt on him. That is really 80s robot. I love it. Uh, so articulation, uh, he's got a pretty good ball jointed head, even though because it's a headmaster, it's a little loose. Um, he has hinges and ball joints at the shoulders, so you pretty much get all the range you really want. Um, double jointed elbows, so you get full range out of that, and the gun's actually in the way right now. Bicep swivel, nothing at the wrist really, but it's not really needed. Um, he has a waist swivel, which is really appreciated, really just makes him stand out. He has really nice ball joints at the legs there. It's kind of funny, Siege has pretty much gotten rid of ball joints. Um, it's kind of something I didn't really notice until it was pointed out to me. But he has a thigh swivel, really good knee bend. Uh, nothing really at the ankle though, but it's a transformer. You don't really need ankle articulation when the feet are just so big. They'll just stand at any pose you really put them in. Um, what can I say, man? These these guys are great. I really love them. I'm just going to transform one of them because their transformations are pretty much the same. Uh, I'm going to transform Twin Twist because we've talked about Top Spin enough. I will show both modes. I will, I will transform them both, but I'm just going to show you how to transform one. So um, it's actually been a while since I've done this, but I think I remember. So you flip that in. And you flip that. It's just a classic J4 transformation where I'm just going to do it. And I'm going to vaguely talk about it. I'm not going to instruct you the whole way. Um, so yeah, there's the arms there. Let's pull the headmaster off. You can get a look at his headmaster. This one actually has a little bit of paint on it, which is interesting, I guess. Okay, so what do you do next? Then he has like a crazy thing with his torso, right? Yeah. Then you get... Oh, I forgot. Look, he's got this whole swivel on the torso for the transformation. Oh man, and his arms like perfectly tuck in right there. Look at that, they, they were just hanging out on the G1 toy. Not anymore, they perfectly tuck in right into the body of the vehicle. And then you get that tabbed back. And what else you do? You, you open up the legs, right? Then you you rotate the waist. Yeah, yeah. I, I love I love just relearning a figure. Like it's been so long since I've transformed this guy. I'm revisiting it, you know? And I'm having a blast. Because it's, oh man, this figure, oh, dude, I love it. And you flip in the feet like that, tab it together. Dude, I've, oh, you, this, oh man, you get the headmaster in there. Well, actually, you need to get him, he, he can't really peg in properly and still sit because of the cockpit, I remember that. So you pretty much have to have him like laying in there. But look at that. Look at, look at this. Look at that. They turned this into this. A weird joke of an alt mode into a really cool drill tank. That is sweet. Okay, let's get Topspin transformed and let's finish this. There we go, man. There's Topspin and Twin Twist in their alt modes. And look at this. This is definitely an interesting looking jet. Uh, definitely seems like something to be more of like a boost jet. But look at that. Look at the thrusters, man. This thing has got a lot of thrust. And then comparing it to the vintage one, the vintage one, like the feet, there's just nothing there. They could have sculpted thrusters, but they didn't. It's like it kind of has a vague look of a thruster on a side. It's just really low effort alt mode. It really is, especially compared to the actual, you know, this. <laughs> it's funny how I'm calling the new one the actual alt mode. Because this is just, ugh. This is so low effort for the, you know, gimmick and everything. But this, look at this. And then look at Twin Twist, too. Twin Twist is amazing. I love these guys so much. And of course, you can take the guns. Um, that's the wrong guns. He has the white guns. You can take the guns and you can put them on. I like putting these guns. You actually have these tabs um, here, I think. I think this works. Yeah, you can actually have the guns right there like that on the wings, which is really cool. Or you can have them tabbed up here. You can just do stuff. They might fit. No, they don't really fit in there. But you can, you can do stuff with the guns. I think maybe these tabs... I don't, I don't know if that works. No, I don't think so. Those, these work right there. Those tabs, I believe, can also tab in right there. I believe. Yes. So you can also have that look. Um, what can I say, man? It's just so nice. And then for top spin here, you really just have to peg it on. Um, you don't really have like nice little more subtle ways. So you just have to, I think the best place is on the side here like that. Just looks like firepower. I really dig it. So, what can I say, man? The original Top Spin and Twin Twist are goofy in their own ways. Uh, they're fun. They're cute little transformers. But at the end of the day, they're just not that good. Uh, <laughs> just because they don't really have a transformation. The robot modes are cute, I guess. But they're just like 
guys that can move their arms up, and the alt modes are just whatever. Um, I like them, but this is definitely one in one instance where it is impossible to argue that the new ones are not better than the old ones. <laughs> the the times are turned topspin and twin twists are something to behold. I love these figures so much. They're a couple of my favorite toys from Titans Return. They're not my absolute favorite. My absolute favorite is Overlord. But these things are great. And I highly recommend them. If you don't have these guys, go out and get them. They're great. And it, it's one of those things where you can't really have one without the other. Unless you feel like you can live without one. But me personally, they're bros. They're, they're wreckers. They're bros. You gotta keep them together, man. And I love it. I love this pair. And that's pretty much it. <laughs> so that's there we go. There's Top Spin and Twin Twist. A couple really good old boys. Uh, remember those Fall of Cybertron figures they did of them? That was that was a meme. Anyways, uh, that's pretty much it. Thank uh, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to come like and subscribe. Check my social media links down in the description below. Have a good day, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Adios, amigos.